uh, an early morning. The flight's very early, it's 6 a.m. So I need to take the tube to go to the station. I didn't sleep much yesterday, uh, so I hope to get some rest on the plane. Terminal 3. That is the flight. Japan Airlines. So I need to go to the D. 7.40 in the morning. Pretty early, eh? Let's go and find the check-in desk and um, drop the luggage. Oh. There we go. That's the bag. The flight was very full, uh, but they gave me a seat where it was on the aisle. But I wanted one with the window. Luckily, they were really kind and allowed me to change the seats. So I got a seat by the window. So hopefully, I can see maybe the Mount Fuji. This is it, boarding on the flight. journey that's unbelievable it's 15 hours from London to Tokyo and I originally thought that the routes will be going through the North Pole or somewhere across the United States from that direction and then approach Japan from the Pacific Ocean but I guess this is not the case and we are instead going to South so we are basically circumnavigating the Russia, all the Russia, and go around all these countries, all this pilgrimage of countries southern of Russia. And uh, look, surprise, surprise, according to the map, we are going right above Pyongyang at some point and then reach to Tokyo. I hope this is not the case and uh, we're gonna divert our route to a more pacific places. I really hope that we'll go to south because in this case I hope to then approach the airport of Haneda from south so you can see the Mount Fuji on the way. And I'm saying this because I'm sitting on the left-hand side of the plane, so that will be easier for me to observe Mount Fuji if we cross it. And uh, fingers crossed this will happen. So stay with me and let's find it out. Unfortunately, the weather is being pretty shit. 
so I'm not sure I'm gonna see that today. Let's hope for the best. Unfortunately, it's fully covered by the clouds. So, yeah, it's not gonna show up today. So to get to the city center, there is a monorail service that go to Hamamatsu Cho in city center and then I can change to the Yamanote line. So the one is arriving, so let's catch it. This is my first stamp desk of the trip. I am in uh, Hamamatsucho station. It's the gateway to Tokyo. And uh, look at all these beautiful stamps. I think they have updated the stamps. Now they are different. So I have to recollect them again. So every Tokyo station has like, a stamp. Uh, then you can collect them. And each of the stamp will have a particular design. So, just put in there. I started a new scrapbook from Traveler's Company and I want to fill this book with all these beautiful stamps. I'm super excited and here we go. I got the first stamp. Uh, Weno Park and um, behind me is the cherry blossoms that is about to bloom. It's very rainy so unfortunately I cannot really take the best part of this park under this weather. That's the temple. It's really nice I have to say even in this weather there are so many people coming in this park and uh, well, look at this view, it's astonishing. Ah, it's so unfortunate that it's raining. That would be awesome if I can have like a lunch here in the open, just a picnic. Uh, I think people will do Hanami, which is the cherry blossom ch celebration. And people will cover this park with blue sheets where they will eat on top. It's not today, it's not going to be the case, but I think I imagine they'll be wonderful if the weather is clear. that it's raining. If it's carrying on raining, I cannot deploy my sketchbooks. That's a shame, I cannot draw around. So it really needs to stop raining as soon as possible. I arrived now in the hotel and I just had a shower. I had to refresh myself because it was um, a horrible rainy day. It rained all the day. And uh, it will be raining for the whole week. I couldn't believe this. And uh, I couldn't believe that I came the only week that is consistently raining in Tokyo. And uh, I just hope that tomorrow I will be going 
to um, Fukuyama uh, near Onomichi to start the uh, Shimonami Kaido cycle challenge. And I really hope that the day would be better than today. Although the scenery in Tokyo has been amazing, uh, because under the rain, the sakura, for some reason, is more vivid. I found it even more beautiful than in a clear day. So unfortunately, I couldn't draw on the spot because of the rain. So I tried to do it on the screen. So I'm also doing a little drawing challenge on my Instagram. It's called Let's Draw Japan. So basically, I will be loading every day one image of the place I will be in Japan. And the participant of this competition slash contest uh, slash challenge will draw the same image with me and post it on Instagram. So the aim of the drawing challenge is to let people practice more by drawing every day, because that was the trick that helped me to getting better in drawings. So I really hope this will help other people to achieve the same goal. So this is my challenge um, of the day. So for this sketch, I used my The Good Blue L130 Phantom Pen with FNIP. And um, this is loaded with a permanent carbon uh, waterproof ink, so it won't be washed away with the watercolor. So I try to experiment around a bit uh, with this uh, kind of negative space around. <clears throat> this is the water brush I used to do the watercolor. I hope you enjoy the first sketch of the challenge. I will be doing more uh, in my next days, so I hope many people will join and draw with me when I'm traveling. So I already booked my Japan Rail Pass and um, I will be taking the Shinkansen to, um, to Kobe first and then to Fukuyama, which is the city near Onomichi where I'm gonna rent the bike. So really fingers crossed, double fingers crossed that tomorrow the weather would be better in West Japan. I really need it. But I'm glad I'm not in Tokyo. I saw on the forecast that from uh, in West Japan, the weather has been better than the Eastern Japan. So really fingers crossed and um, see you guys tomorrow. Hello, today is day two and uh, I'm about to leave my hotel and uh, check out and on the lift it says on the wall that today's weather is cloudy and maybe a bit rainy and the temperature overall is very high so I'm really hopeful for today so thank you hotel for letting me know Today's weather is pretty hot and uh, it's sunny, that's all that matters. And uh, yeah, we really hope to do more drawings, but first thing first, let's get breakfast. I'm gonna board the first Shinkansen to Osaka and then change the train to Fukuyama.
here for later for the second train to Fukuyama. So the next train will be leaving in about 20 minutes. So let's go to find the stamp of Shin Ozaka Station. It should be near the entrance gate. So let's check. Here we go. This is the stamp machine. So beautiful train. I think actually one day I'm gonna draw that and uh, yeah, I will come here and maybe draw before boarding a train. Anyway, I'm in uh, Fukuyama. It's a pretty empty station. Oh my god, there are some overlapping in the voice, the announcements. It looks like some crazy woman. Just shouting. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Can you hear that? Fukuyama Station. There's a castle over here. It's nice. I've completed the challenge of the day, day number two, and now I'm heading back to the hotel. Luckily, this castle is very, very close to the station, and now it's getting pretty dark. So I'm gonna leave and say goodbye to the wonderful castle of Fukuyama, and um, I will see you tomorrow for my first leg of the Shimanami Kaido.